Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this video in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're here. This video is a really cool video that I did not expect to do. This knife was provided to me by brother Paul Mills when he sent me some knives to check out. And he was going to let me hold on to this and use it for a review and a future giveaway, which we will do someday soon. So what this knife is, and it was a surprise to me, I'd never seen it, it is the Petrified Fish Scholar. It is in G10 and 14C, front flipper, titanium clip, T8 on the pivot, T6 on the clip and the body screws. Before I get too far into it, I want to give a quick shout out and thank you to the channel members. Thank you guys so much, and gals. And I want to give a quick shout out to anybody who's come in to check out my knife, my ABC content. Thank you. I appreciate it. If you choose and you're so inclined, please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon. It really helps me out. If not, enjoy the video. So the Scholar by Petrified Fish does have a titanium backspacer. Um, really unique knife when it first came in i could tell it was a full-size knife and it's a front flipper it's got a very easy front flipping action because of the way that it's jimped you'll also notice it's got this very unique choil that serves as both a sharpening choil and a finger choil and it reminds me of a straight razor it is absolutely drop shut buttery smooth on bearings. You know me, I'm not a front flipper guy, but I can manipulate this front flipper any way it needs to be manipulated. And then you've got this tall hollow grind. Let me make sure I'm giving you it right. I think it's a hollow. Looks very hollow, feels very hollow. Yeah. You got a deep hollow grind there, which allows you, or allows me, because it's about, eh, you know, almost 100% here. It comes down to probably 90, 80, but it gives you enough traction. And this is not the stone wash. This is the uh, belt satin, which is the slickest of the finishes that they make. But I can easily get a middle finger flick on this knife as I fail it. I have no problem just utilizing the front flipper because the jimps do come all the way up. They don't quite make that turn, which would be nice, but they're very grabby. Um, this knife, being a hollow grind, having this what I call razor blade blade shape make it an absolutely therapeutic slicer. It had a couple of small chips to the blade when it came. So I tried to keep the same angle on it. I went back to about 18 and a half. But I wanted to get it to where there were no hangups in it because if I give a knife away, hey, I want to make sure it's safe, it functions well, and most importantly, because I'm a weirdo, I like it to be able to cut paper and cardboard. I just hit the choil, that was cutter error. If you wrap it into the place where there's no blade, it will not cut. But this is a very sharp knife. Full-size knife. So if I was going to grip it back here, which I wouldn't, unless I was just going to be hacking at stuff, I've got a full, easy four-finger grip. And I'll get you some dimensions in just a second. If I grip it up here, I've got tons of room. So let's just do a couple of quick size comparisons, which is some of the knives that we usually look at. You'll see that this guy comes in about an inch and a half shorter than our cold steel Formax, but it's in the range, right? Much, much bigger than our Civivi Baby Banter. Let's look at it next to our Benchmade Bug Out. Mm, good bit larger than the Benchmade Bug Out. I have a feeling it's going to be close to our pair two here. Maybe an eighth of an inch shorter than the paramilitary two. Um, but very similar 
length knife, right? We'll get some dimensions here. You've got this nice crown spine, deep hollow grind on the petrified fish. You've got right here in the choil, you've got the petrified fish number and the blaze steel 154 cm. You've got a, I think that's a titanium liner lock. Hold on. I think it's the titanium liner lock in a steel frame. Don't ask me why, it just doesn't seem to grab. But let's get a couple of quick dimensions on the overall size of this knife. And we will see that it comes in at eight and a quarter inches with a three and three quarter inch, a little bit over blade. You've got a three inch cutting area. You've got a handle of four and a half inches. You've got an inside handle grip of four inches and an inside choil grip of five inches. So five inches from right here to here, four inches from right here to here. Again, this is my grip. It's just the way it seems to feel right. And it does have that liner lock to keep it locked in place has G10 white scales, meaning you could dye it any color you wanted to. I'm not a huge fan of white G10 because I do a lot of sharpening and I get a lot of smuts on the knives, but it's part of it, right? They're knives. This guy absolutely has been a surprise. I wouldn't call it a budget budget knife, but I just found them on Amazon. They've got this one. They've got the stone washed and several wood handle ones. And I want to say they're $67 and 99 cents. Um, I'll look and see if I can find them anywhere else. And I'll put a couple of links in the description of this video. Um, in case you guys just want to go grab one or check one out. I thought it was a very unique knife. I've got some brown on that G10. One good thing about white G10 is rubbing alcohol which we all love and use at least i do all the time will do wonders on keeping your g10 clean but guys that is the petrified fish scholar i wanted to say schooner but it's the scholar and the scholar is a very unique knife i think it's super cool I've had it in my pocket hmm, probably about three days, carrying it some, cutting with it some, uh, cut a bunch of uh, branches away, little ah, weeds, kind of an understatement. They're more like little branches, um, ran it through a good bit of wood, um, put the edge on it, held an edge great, burred up great, made me think the heat treat's done fine on it. Um, for $67 for a full-size knife with a nice crown spine, hollow grind, depending on what your use case scenario is, I can get behind this knife. I had a petrified fish mini beluga. I love that knife. I gifted it to Brother Lee, Bama Knife Guy. And then I had the full-size beluga Tanto. Didn't like it as much, but out of all of them, I really believe I like the ergos, the thinness, the full size, this unique choil, and this razor-shaped style blade. But guys, the Petrified Fish Scholar. Donated in for me to check out and to make one of you guys a winner, which we'll do that soon, on this particular knife. And that was Brother Paul Mills. Guys, thanks for watching. If you're still here, please hit the subscribe button. It does really help. But most importantly, look out for that guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Look out for one another. Go forward with love in your hearts and choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.